I greet you in the traditional Ifa greeting of Aboru Aboye Aboshishe. This is Fani Ogunkunle Faloba. I am walking on Okinichi Mountain here in Hillsboro, North Carolina. I'm on my way to give offering to Baba Abatela, uh, offering of a coconut. Um, today has been a very spiritual day. Made an awesome ID move to my ancestors and um, offering to Arumila. And now I'm on my way to see Baba Abatala because he is the owner of all heads. And uh, now's the time to make sure that your head is taken care of. And uh, so I'm in the woods, a place I love to be. Uh, I always love to be in nature. I run in nature. Nature is my gym. And uh, so I want you all to take part in this journey. So you can take a look to see the path. I'm walking. Okinichi Mountain, named after the uh, indigenous tribe that inhabited this area at one time, called the Okinichi people here in Hillsborough, North Carolina. Uh, they lived along the Eno River, one of my other favorite spots when I go see Ye Ye Oshun. But coming into this, these woods, this mountain, just kind of give you a glimpse of what it looks like. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Had some white folks in the back. They had this big dog, looked like a boxer. He was like he was trying to come get me. As a priest of Ogun, I'm probably one of the few priests of Ogun who's extremely afraid of dogs. <clears throat> and they all see it too. As soon as they meet me, they see it. I gotta work on that. But um, walking through the woods is wonderful. Being around life is wonderful. I do my best thinking walking in the woods. I could reflect the best walking in the woods. Because I'm around life, nature, animals, insects, trees, soil, the sun. It's like an ecosystem, it's a community. And all aspects of this community is in unison with each other. Sometimes I just sit, close my eyes, and just listen. Take a look up top. Beautiful, isn't it? You know, I'm very thankful. I was walking on this trail on my way to see Baba about to lie, thinking of how grateful I am. Grateful to God, to Oludumari. Grateful to my ancestors. Grateful to the Orisha, to Baba Arumila, to the mothers. Yeye Oshun, Yeye Oya, Yeye Yemoja. Grateful to Baba Ogun, Shango, Aganju, every one of them. Because everyone played a huge part in my development, my growth. I've come a long way. Still have a long way to go. The beautiful part about being an Awo, a priest of uh, Rumila, a priest of Ifa, is that. I'm a lifelong student of Ifa until I transition. This healing process is uh, amazing. It's not, all, it's not just about me getting me right for me. It's about me getting myself right for my children, for my children's children, for my family, for my community, for the world. Oludumare blessed me with gifts, bestowed me a purpose, a destiny. It's my responsibility to do all that I can to fulfill that destiny so that I can make my contribution to keeping myself in balance, my family in balance, the community in balance in the world. And to not do that would be indirectly or directly contributing to the imbalance of this world. So at minimum, 
we could try to fulfill our destiny. Some refer to it as God's will. But God willed upon our life. I had to put the sun behind us. The camera. Beautiful woods. We're on our way to Overlook. Overlook is a part of Okanichi Mountain. Or you can stand at the top and see everything. You can see Hillsboro, the woods, everything. It's like the top part of the mountain. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We at the crossroads. Three-way stop. We get reference to Baba Yeshu at this point. We get Baba Baba Yeshu. You can make a right. Maintenance access trail. Not where I need to go. Go back where I came. Not where I need to go. Or go to the overlook. That's where I'm going. The overlook. I ran this trail one time. It's roughly 2.2 miles. Literally running up a mountain. Good training. Training for a Spartan race. Spartan beast. But I plan to run October 25th. Outside of Charlotte and South Carolina. It's a 13 mile obstacle course. Oh, bug got my ear. So, what, what is next? Okanichi Mountain, Natural Hours, okay. Parking area. Oh, overlook, this way. Okay. Overlook is this way. Read the signs. Sweating out here. Wearing the kufi keeps something white on my head. I got a few assalamu alaikums last week at work. People think I'm a Muslim, but it's all good. I just say peace be under you too. Same guy, different language. Different cultural expression. Same divine source that we all come from. Just keep your faith in me. Don't act impatiently. You get where you need to be in due time. Even when things are slow, hold on and don't let go. I give you what I owe in due time. I love that song. Outcast featuring CeeLo Green. Due time. I think it was on a Soul Food soundtrack. That song speaks to my soul. It's been speaking to my soul every day for about the last month. Coming back from Igbo Du, coming back from initiation of Nigeria. There are times I've been impatient, kind of feeling down, semi-depressed. You know, when really I just need to slow down and trust and know that I am not forgotten. Trust and know that I've been promised and as long as I do what I'm supposed to be doing I will be taken care of as long as I do my part things will be provided guess what we made it to overlook take a look at how beautiful this place is Just keep your faith in me. Don't act in patience. Somebody go get sleep. I'm gonna let y'all go because I gotta get this off into Baba Batala. We'll reconvene.